Support Pro Play Games on Patreon. All right, so we're currently back from our commercial break, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. I hope you guys are overall enjoying this regional event as all the players are putting forth their best effort to get top eight. So we're going to be having Matthew versus Andres. Matthew playing the green variant. Uh, actually, he's playing Grand Kawagamon and Nidhogg. And then the last one is going to be Andres, going to be playing Diaboro. So, uh, let's jump into the, the match. So, he's going to go ahead and hatch his egg. And going to hard play a Karamon to search. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he searched, but hopefully it was something amazing. So, he's going to hard play a Infermon. Uh, Infermon going to be putting his opponent to, uh, put to three. So with the Mimi, he's, he's going to be going to 3 no matter what he does. But uh, the fact that he can on hard play that is pretty... Oh no, he can actually warp Digivolve. That's what it was. He warp Digivolved over the Karamon. Very interesting card. I have yet to see it. Um, so warp Digivolving, uh, skipping level 4. Uh, let's actually look that up in a little bit. Give you guys a full explanation. He's gonna play hard play a blossom on. So it's looking like they both did not draw optimal, or he did not draw optimally. Uh, still getting out of level five. He's gonna proc Mimi to at least get eggs when he does start seeing rookies. He's gonna play the four, three. Uh, effect of the Aboramon when digivolving, he will get a token. Or is that BT one? That is BT one. So he paid four for the BT1 uh, Diaboramon swinging, and then he gets a token. Very interesting that he's in the top tables without the promo. Uh, I have yet to see that Diaboramon played. Andres' deck is looking pretty spicy. He's going to hard play Karamon. He's going to be searching another card. Um, Karamon just grabbing up a Arata or a unknown Digimon. And it's typing, so. I'm really curious to see what's um. What's the Diabormon he pairs with this one? Um, what are the ratios? Cause, the thing is, uh, while that Diabormon is good and it can constantly spam out tokens, the risk of losing it in a security check. Uh, is detrimental. And especially when it's um, when you have to suspend it to do it, um. Uh, versus the new one that all you have to do is just digivolve on it um and even if you pass turn with it and you have errata you could summon two tokens or you know if you digivolve and pass turn you could still summon a token so there really is a lot more advantages to the other one uh but um the question is uh does he have the promos or does he have the one I'm speaking of? Uh, but he's going really wide right now, which is which is really good. Um, so the Infermon else we were talking about can warp Digivolve over a Karamon for the cost of four. Uh, so and it's uh, seven to hard play and then three to Digivolve over four. Um, it says here on deletion you can actually play the Bormon token without uh, paying its memory costs. So basically, I think he's just setting up overall. That's probably why he's playing that D Bormon uh, as a spicy tech to go into uh, D Bormon a little faster. And even if the D Bormon dies, he's gonna have a, a spam board of tokens. It's actually pretty genius. I've, I haven't yet to seen a deck list like this. As he will be swinging with the blossom. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, he's probably thinking about download. Uh, 
Let's see, Green is not in a good situation. He's looking at lethal right now. Green? Oh, yeah, he's, he, if he does not catch up or find a way to Nidhogg, he will lose his game. I just wish he would lay, lay more his, um, his Digimon stack, just so I know what's, um, what's under it. I, oh, yeah, I have actually have not noticed that. Uh, he does have one Digimon under the Grand Kawagamon. <laughs> But it does I not think, make a difference. I think two. No, it's one. No? It might be two. I think it's two. <laughs> and unfortunately, this is going to be game if he does not find a way to stop that. So that we one check. Safe. Needle spray. Uh, going to see suspending the... So the, he has three attacks at the moment. Um, two attacks at the moment because... The Shademon cannot attack directly. And they will be going into game three. I mean, two. I love to see Dearborn in the top tables doing its thing. Uh, we need to put some respect on that deck. Ace. Hey, All right, guys. Actually, yep. Some respect on Diaboro. He is currently in table three saucing. Um, unfortunately, Matthew did not get to sh uh, showcase. His build for green OTK, uh, he's been doing well as well. It is disheartening to see uh, your deck really let you down and then uh, doing that um, game one loss and have to do uh, two wins back to back is never a position you ever want to be in. It's very stressful. Um, but, you know, uh, there's always the comeback. Uh, so let's see what happens. Green OTK is no slouch. And, uh, you know, if Diaboro's not careful with what Nidhogg can do and all those tokens, he's just going to be in for a bad day as well. Definitely. And the, the fact is that the pressure that Diaboromon provides um, can only be really stopped by two cards uh, consistently, which would be Nidhogg, and he would have to see it. Um, and then the other option would be K uh, Omnimon BT1, as it destroys all things of the same name. But one day. <laughs> one day somebody will start playing that again. <laughs> one day we'll see it in an Omnimon in green, and hopefully it has something crazy. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and start with the champion, not looking for, not able to Ooh. find a rookie in his hand. Uh, Matthew, very, very... Uh, Frustrated, we could tell. And disheartened, but he should stay in it because Camilo last game bricked, but did amazing on the comeback. You gotta do. You gotta work with the comebacks, guys, because you're gonna break in this game, especially in tournaments. There's not gonna be a moment where you don't break, you know, unless there's stacking involved. There, you're always gonna have some games where you brick, and you have to learn how to bounce back from them, because uh, if not, you're just really gonna go downhill. Um, so let's see how Matthew bounces back from this brick. Oh, okay. So here comes the download. Already already going up. Oh, he, he did not draw. He, yeah, he... Um, his hat fell. Okay, so moving. He's going to go into Grand Kawagamon. Go into two. He's probably looking for the Nidhogg. Or at least a rookie. Unfortunately, he did not hatch that turn. So he, even if he did draw that rookie, he wasn't going to be able to play it he forgot you you know you always uh that's why i say always hatch even if you don't have a rookie because um it's it's just not gonna have um i mean if you're just gonna pass turn uh don't hatch but always hatch always be ready for a rookie oh he grabbed an erotic double pickup amazing it's it's just really not looking good for green over here uh, even with the actually, actually, actually. no, he has an OTK. He he can do some form of OTK right now. He can at least hit four security, if he has what I think he has. Um, the thing is, does he set up the Nidhogg? That's true. Um, yes, so sir. he does have a champion in the back. Fortunately, he's stacking his cards on top of each other, so we cannot see unless we Properly. catch it on the on the moment. Um. Guys, what do you think of these hype matches? Please let me know.
Okay, so he's going to Digiburst 2 to go ahead and attack for plus 1 to security. Hitting a Infermon. And then Infermon. So double ultimates looking... Uh, two ultimates down for Andres. Uh, let's see how it goes from here. So as you saw in that last round, uh, Infermon was actually the card that did the most for him. As it put in that board pressure and it got him the fastest to um, to Mega. Unfortunately, I don't see him being able to take out the security as fast this turn. Uh, he has three attacks next turn and he has three security. Oh, he got the blocker. So... He's going to play second Arata. He's expecting to at least be at enough to get to a Diaboro. The thing is... How Mad confident is he that he'll see... So he has Rush. He has the Rush card right there. If it doesn't get deleted, it could be game next turn if he gets enough memory. Oh no, he can actually have game this turn. As he has a full line built up, he can go into Grand and OTK him right now. Let's see. Attack. Trying to bait out the block. His best option would have been to uh, distribute security plus ones. Oh, he does. I don't think he has the grand. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's just trying to get build up his board presence, going to zero. I think he's trying to draw the Nidhogg. Nidhogg has to be somewhere in there, probably even hiding in security. Let's that, get okay. That would suck. <laughs> yes, it would. As the Nidhogg would absolutely destroy um, all of Andres' hard work. Uh, Digivolve Diabora for two? No, 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 no. Don't Digivolve. Remember to attack. Rem oh, he forgot to attack. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the thing, though. He's going to summon. Does he have the Karamon? Oh, he has, he has the Karamon. He's going to actually be gaining three memory. Oh, okay. So now I see where you were talking about. Karamon draws him the cards, and then... No, Kursayamon draws him the cards, and then yeah. the Karamon... And he has Rush. Uh, I can't even reversed. Kursayamon giving him the memory, and yeah. then Karamon giving him the draws. Now, the thing is... I don't know I don't know what could be in security. Is if he has the sneaky uh, Weiss, that could be it. What is going to happen in this situation? So, is he going to be attacking the... Security. Oh, survives. Goes ahead. Moves on. All right. So he needs to attack one of those um, those Tentamon. At least a Tentamon. But e even with that blocker threatening. Um... Okay. So he's gonna de digivolve the um, Blossom on by two. And then he actually gains a token. He gains a memory. Uh, so, let's see here. So, he has two security, one blocker, and the opponent has four attacks. Uh, he should have attacked the Tentamon, um, at least with the Diabormon. He does threaten lethal next turn if he does survive this. And the Matthew completely did not want to risk attacking security. Uh, why are those two Digimon still suspended? Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Awesome. Unless there's another Shade Mon. No, I, I've already, uh, I've already, uh, another Shade another Shade Mon should guarantee he. Oh no, never mind. 
what's going to happen here. So here comes the Lylamon. Go ahead, Digiverse. Suspend the Shademon. Attack for one. Oh, there's the Shademon! <laughs> Guaranteeing he blocks the next attack. Oh, no. That was his worst nightmare. Absolutely amazing. Um, that is the craziest <laughs> check possible. I called it. Called the chat. Called it. So, so can Matthew come back from this? Uh, unfortunately, he cannot Nidhogg anymore because he has Digibursted. No, no, yeah. So will Matthew concede or will his security actually okay. save him again? As we saw the Needle Spray. Um, needle Spray. And Andres does only have five attacks. Five, uh, six attacks. And he went ahead and scooped it up. So, congratulations, Andres. Uh, Matthew, unfortunately, could not show his full potential for the green deck. But um, I'm so proud of Black actually making it this far up the, the ladder. It's going to be in the top eight, as I'm pretty sure this is the fifth round. Uh, we will be posting up the... We will be uh, also streaming the top eight, I think. Um, just stay tuned and I'll be right back with you guys. Excellent game.